This is one of four mail preparation systems installed in the General Post Office, New York City, for test and evaluation under actual operating conditions. It occupies a floor area 10 feet by 56 feet. Each system is an assembly of modular machines arranged in line to cull assorted collection mail automatically. Products of the culling are letters and cards of the correct size and thickness to pass automatically through the input gate of a facing and canceling machine. Here the stamps are automatically canceled and the letters stacked for the sorting operation. High speed performance of this system provides an average output rate of 480 machine acceptable letters per minute. Here's how the system operates. Mail of all sorts and sizes collected from street letter boxes and office buildings and culled of extra large and bulky items is delivered to the hopper or the conveyor at the beginning of the system. A vibrator under the hopper advances the mail up an inclined conveyor which spreads it for the next operation, culling. Automatic controls maintain an even and continuous flow. If pileups occur in the hopper, a sensing feeler stops vibration until the congestion clears. At the top of the inclined conveyor, the mail drops to a horizontal moving belt. The rollers on this belt are adjusted to cull out mail more than a quarter inch thick and shunt it to discharge chutes. The mail less than a quarter inch in thickness passes under the rollers to a cross belt which conveys it to a waterfall chute. Notice this first culling operation again. Over thick mail shunted to discharge chutes. Mail less than a quarter inch thick passing under rollers to a waterfall chute. This chute delivers the mail to the bridge belt a short stretch of conveyor inside a channel less than two inches wide. The narrow channel supports the letters vertically, most of them on their long edges. In addition to letter mail, however, small items like keys and coins and flat mail are passing into the channel. To cull out the keys and coins, there is an opening in the channel floor bridged by pinch belts. The pinch belts grasp mail over two and seven eighths inches in height and carry them across the opening. Keys and other small objects, as well as mail under two and seven eighths inches in height, drop down the opening into a tray for further processing. Seen from a reverse angle, here is the second culling operation. Mail over two and seven eighths inches in height carried across a channel opening by pinch belts. Small items and mail under two and seven eighths inches in height culled out by gravity. Remaining in the mail stream now besides machine cancelable letters is oversized flat mail. The oversized flat mail is removed by a pair of pinch belts angled upwards which pull out mail over five and three quarter inches in height. Another look at the last culling operation. Oversized flat mail pulled out of the stream by pinch belts. The remainder of the mail passes under the belts to a pre-singulator, which pulls the letters out one at a time and fires them into the shingling belts. Now the stream of mail enters a helical wheel, which stacks up to 100 letters in a buffer to absorb surges. A vacuum belt then peels letters one by one from the helical wheel, and with the aid of high-speed rollers, singulates the letters so that they enter the facing canceling machine spaced at least two and a half inches apart. 
A pivoted infeed arm with a vacuum belt forms the bridge between the male preparation system and the modified facer canceller so that the letters enter for facing and canceling automatically. Mail arriving for the canceling process has stamps in four possible positions on corners of letters or cards. All mail with stamps on the lower corners, whether leading or trailing, is canceled first and assembled in the first two stackers. The remainder of the mail is turned over so that the stamps are on the lower corners of the letters or cards. These stamps are then canceled and the mail again assembled in two additional stackers. Mail without stamps or with stamps in unusual positions pass through the canceling operation and are assembled in a fifth stacker for further processing. One more look at the automatic process. Over thick mail shunted aside by specially adjusted reverse rollers. Small items and letters dropping out by gravity. And large flat mail pulled out by pinch belts. Speed, 480 machine acceptable letters per minute. Stamps on lower corners canceled and letters stacked. All others turned over. And again, all stamps on lower corners canceled and letters stacked. Speed up to 480 stamps canceled per minute. You have just seen how the mail preparation system operates to provide automatic culling of collection mail and automatic cancellation of stamps on letters and cards. This system is still under operational test and study. Critical engineering experimentation and economic evaluation will provide the basis for extensive postal use. <laughs>